Hi, Sauri-chan. Hmm? Genda-sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. <laughs> Immediate reaction. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to sorry son real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Hmm. So serious. I'm scared. Sit down. I've got bit What? What's happening, Genda? You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. Oh. I told you to back off. But you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun too? Aww, Genda. Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about oh, it. Oh, yes! <laughs> Come happy. join us, Ginda. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami. You're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. Oh, this is so cool. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. Mm. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help <laughs> from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> There's something I need to ask you. Oh man, she's gonna look so good. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, sorry, son. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. Dude, can't these men see be the beauty fine, under that hair? We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more <laughs> if you do it. Bring no. it back to the mochi. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? Oh. What do you see when you look at Saori san, huh? No, it's How? not that. It's, she's just really not into the idea. Why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. 
If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori-san? Nice, Toshino. Fan, I guess I could give it a try. Nice. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. That's what uh, I'm talking about. This is so cool. Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Mm hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's oh, go. Oh, oh. We have a dress to buy. See, I, knew I like you that had it in you. attitude. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah, but I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Nice, Hoshino. Good words. Man, Sarah's gonna look so good. And I'm liking her attitude. Yagami-san. The go-to place for Sari-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. Yeah, I feel like Hoshino is the one that wants to do this. And he's not really using the picture of Saori to pick a hairstylist or whatever. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. This is so cool! She's coming with us! La March, here we come. Oh, just to go take, catch the cab. How does she look like when she runs? Oh. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Did we get to pick? Ooh hoo hoo! Yes! Oh wait. How do I change dress? Classy and sexy at the same time. Oh, Chinese. No, it's too cute. I'm liking this one. She looks real good in this one, man. Do this one, and I'm liking the colors. Nah, no accessory. Nah. 
these one look good. Simple. Popular perfume that raises the wearer's spirits. A show-stopping perfume that keeps the wearer calm in any situation. Yes, yeah, do that. I feel like those earrings might be too big. Maybe these ones. Nah, let's keep it that simple. Oh no, but she's wearing gold. Okay, I'm done. Ho ho ho! Smoking Sauri Chan! I can't wait to see her hair done as well. How's it going in there, Sauri san? Almost Yagami's done? Yagami's gonna get so shocked. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sauri san, you've known Mafia since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens, but then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize, whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafu was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafu looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafuyu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes, they ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafuyu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafuyu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now. Oh. Mori Tassan. Huh? Real. It's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Morita-san had married another woman. Mm. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> <laughs> Does it surprise you? Nah, it's fine. Mafia is basically a little sister to me. I don't think of her like that. I really? mean, we were raised in a totally different... Sorry, I get it. You don't have to keep going. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, um, I'm done changing. Come show mm -hmm. us! Nice. Huh, not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Well, how does she know? <laughs> Creepy. Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. 
Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Whatever. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Let's go. So is she gonna run around town in that dress with us? Let's see. Ooh, Sari! Sari san! Ooh! Ooh! Oh man, she looks so good. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Oh, she's got such a nice face, Sauri. I love it. Something mature. Yes, long ones, please. No. It's nice, not too much. Change of shoes? No. Cool, she looks good to me. Oh, I love the brand new salary. Whoa, 
You look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. Oh, we're first person. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Let's see how this boyfriend reacts. Oh, she's a knockout. Hi. I'll knock you out. Hi. Oh, no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. Guy. club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. <laughs> what hey, you staring at? That's what I want Beat you up. Huh? <laughs> well, um... Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to <clears throat> Holy shit. Yeah, you look so good, Saori. Oh, I love it. This is Saori Shirosaki san. Ah, uh, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I I'm love Shirosaki. that glare. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Yeah, I like it too. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashkin Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Ah, oh, she's so good. I love her attitude. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end <laughs> of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. I'm not really here to score brownie points as a hostess. This is still an investigation. I have to find the girl who was a hashiki without blowing my cover. It may not be easy, but I can do this. If they need this info, then I'll get it. 
Okay, it's almost time for opening. We'll be oh. starting on the floor, Sally Sam. I love her look. She looks so good. Hi, I'm Sumi Ray. Hiya, I'm Mika. I think they'll like become different. Please call me Sari, sir. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful, elegant woman. Come, take a seat. If it's all right with you, sir. Yeah, I like that approach. So, Not the bubbly, as the young blood energetic. In the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. I suppose every industry has its share of problems. Hmm. She's asleep. <laughs> But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. She's making things up. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose anything goes so long as it's a compliment. Maybe I really can do this. Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumeri-san. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, falling precisely. asleep. <laughs> have you ever experienced something like that? Um. Say something. Maybe you say that I love Have your tie. Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. Hm, maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. <laughs> you have to think fast if you want to succeed as a hostess. I was so focused on talking to them that I couldn't focus on the investigation. <sighs> I'm so Tired. sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, Ooh. he... he died. You're the girl what? I'm looking for. You've probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Hoshki-san from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hashki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. So Mika was the one serving Hashki-san. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. 
I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there. Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? Tell me more. Wait. Didn't sound like a very good experience for her. I could upset her if I pried too much. Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. Nice and slow. Take it slow, take it slow. Um, would you like another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. <gasps> Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aww, really? I'm kind of thirsty. Uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, me too. Come on, do it for us. <laughs> uh, um. So we're seeing sorry like that. All right, give me your finest booze. Yay! You are the best. Fresh bottle coming right up. <laughs> I'm just acting. I'm just acting. <laughs> She must feel real cringy. You're incredible, sorry, son. I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mika-san. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mika-san. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. They're like complete opposites. Mika-san and Saori. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? <laughs> Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. The language is changing, just from being there for a few hours. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. 